Hey guys, Mr. Mank when you're doing a student tip of the week. And I just wanted to answer a question that I get a lot from students and parents about martial arts in general. And what's the difference between karate, taekwondo, kung fu, and there's a lot of different other martial arts out there. Um, I thought this would be a good topic to do seeing that we have testing this week. And then also we have our black belt testing coming up on Saturday, which is a big deal for all of our black belt candidates and a big deal for our school. Um, martial arts in general was created for a self-defense. Um, a lot of citizens and farmers, and people that were in different villages, they needed a way to protect themselves. They didn't have weapons, and sometimes they would have another country or another city come in and invade them. So they just needed a way to protect themselves. Um, karate is a Japanese martial arts. It was created in Japan. That's the point, point of origin. Um, karate literally means empty-handed. So everything they do, they like to do a lot of open-hand techniques. Um, they have a lot to do with punching, strong stances. Uh, Kung Fu, which is also known as Gung Fu, uh, it's a Chinese martial art. Um, it was created in China. Um, there's a lot of different variations of Kung Fu, but Kung Fu actually literally means Kung is the work or hard work, and Fu is a skill. So it's a skill of hard work. Uh, Taekwondo is a Korean martial art. It was created in Korea, and it literally means Taekwondo is Tai, the way of the foot. Kwan is the way of the hand, and Do is the art. So the art of the hand and foot. Um, there's a lot of similarities to our martial arts, but the biggest thing is, is that generally you have your one big Taekwondo, for example, is martial arts that we do a lot of kicking in. Um, there are different variations of Taekwondo. There's an ITF and a WTF. We actually do the WTF Taekwondo, which is World Taekwondo Federation. We have a standard, a Kukyuan um, standard that's actually in Korea. There's a head organization there, and they set up all of the parameters for testing. So on your way to black belt, this usually takes about three to three and a half years, and you test every three months. For each belt, you have a certain form that you have to do, and there's certain movements that you have to learn and be proficient in it before you can move on to the next belt. So that's why we do have our belt raking system. We do follow the traditional raking system that the Kuki want follows. Um, after you test and you are able to be eligible for black belt, so the student has actually been in Taekwondo for three years or more, and they are actually proficient in all of their forms. So it's a lot of hard work to actually get to black belt. It's a huge accomplishment. Um, one of the big things that, one of the quotes that I like hearing is a white belt, or a black belt is a white belt that never quit. And they say, I, I read a couple statistics, and they say one in every 10,000 people actually can make it to black belt. Um, that's a huge number. Um, most of you look to like school basis, it's about one in 10. So if you think about for a student to actually make it to black belt, for whichever reason they come in from adults to kids, it's, it's a long commitment. Um, if you look at it like getting your degree in college or in high school, you, know, you have to put in your four years to get your degree, you have to put in the hard work, you have to pass your test. So it's the same thing with a black belt. Um, there's so much that goes on in everyday life that you can get distracted from your goals. And that's one great thing about martial arts is that it's a, easy, or it's a good way to be able to create confidence in your child and for them to actually set goals that they can get to. Um, I remember I received my black belt when I was 13 years old. It was a huge deal for me. It actually took me almost five years to get my black belt because I've moved, switched schools, and a lot of other processes in there. And once I got my black belt, that was the best feeling I've ever had in my life. Um, especially in Taekwondo, since we have a huge governing body. Um, my, ta my Taekwondo black belt is a WTF certified black belt, so I can go anywhere in the United States, anywhere in the world that is a WTF school, and they will honor my black belt. Nobody can ever take that away from me. Um, that's why it's a huge deal that we have our black belt testing this, this week coming up. We have um, eight students that have put in a lot of hard work. Um, they've come in on extra Saturdays to practice. Um, their forms, they have to be proficient in all of their forms. They have self-defense moves that they have to do. They have to be uh, proficient in sparring as well. And they have to, have to actually have the characteristics of a black belt. Um, we have our tendency to attack on those is courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and dominant spirit. Those are something that every black belt has instilled in them. Um, you can take it in any aspect of life, in your job, at school. Um, I know once I received my black belt, it seemed like everything was easier. It was just, I had that determination and never wanting to quit. Um, I think that's a great thing for kids to have, and even adults, you know, I, I know a lot of adults come in and say that this is something they've always wanted to do, or they made it up to yellow belt, 
and they quit when they're younger and they just want to complete it out. Um, I encourage you to instill this into your kids and encourage them to set their goals and to stay on pace with it. That's the hard thing is that a lot of times we set our goals, but a year later, you know, it might seem like it's so far away that we lose interest. And that's part of determination is to be able to just set your mind to something and cheating it. Um, I welcome everybody to come this Saturday to watch our black belt testing. Um, our students have worked really hard and I wish them all good luck.